we're talking about new moon in Virgo. So, all right, first off, the new moon brings in new energy, right? It's a new beginning. So, all right, now we're in, uh, you know, the month of September. Other things are going on right now with uh, this month of September, particularly where we're at um, within the, uh, the calendar cycles, all right? Now, one calendar cycle in particular is Hebrew calendar, all right? We, uh, we finished out the Shemitah last year, and it was the seventh cycle of seven cycles, <laughs> all right? Uh, so, which brings us into a biblical jubilee. Now, um, I'm really feeling and seeing a lot of different things changing, uh, both positive and negatively, right? We're uh, moving out of Pisces into Aquarius. There's a lot of different things going on. So, as, uh, as much as, you know, typically this brings positive energy, I'm also, you know, preparing for some different things to uh, happen moving into next week and the uh, following weeks to come, all right? So first off, all right, first crystal that uh, I'm focusing in on is some black tourmaline, all right? Black tourmaline for grounding, keeping myself grounded, right? That's gonna be very important as we roll through this time. So black tourmaline, keep myself grounded. All right, next we move into, all right, for the solar plexus chakra and uh, to start manifesting because this time is really good for manifesting what you want, but particularly, all right, abundance. Everyone wants abundance, but oftentimes, you know, specifically with Virgo, Virgo energy and most Virgos, I'm not a Virgo, but most energy, you know, most of the time the energy for Virgos is more materialistic, all right? Now, when I focus in on manifesting my abundance, I really focus in on what's truly important. See, the materialistic stuff, we don't, we can't take with us, you know, if you end up having to move somewhere, a lot of times you can't take a lot of the stuff with you. When we leave, all right, this reality, you can't take nothing with you, right? So what I focus in for my abundance, all right, is first off my health. Health is the most valuable thing uh, in our reality right now, right? Um, I also want the abundance of being able to spend time with the people that I love. Because at the end of the day, right, we're the happiest when we're with people that we love and we care about. And then lastly is the abundance to be able to be in nature and build memories with the people that I love and care about the most. So, all right, right now, I want more of that. I want to be able to spend more quality time and build more memories with my family and the people that I truly, really love and care about the most. And that's where this citrine comes into play the citrine quartz crystal so the abundance next is pre-night all right this pre-night connects to the heart chakra particularly in this time i find it's very important intuitively all right to stay connected to my heart um, not only that but also pre-night protects the heart energy all right so any uh, information that I'm giving out, all the energy that I give out uh, to the clients that I work with on transforming their total body wellness, connecting mind, body, and soul. All right, a lot of that energy is a lot. It's all coming from, you know, the heart. Uh, so pre-night helps protect that heart energy and allows one to stay in a frequency of unconditional love. As I said, there's a lot of crazy stuff that's gonna be going on both you know, um, in the, on the world stage, as well as just within the relationships that you have with friends and family. All right, I found pre-night to be a very valuable tool to keeping me, my heart's energy, at its strongest and at its best. Then, all right, I've always got, I've always got this, uh, this deep purple tourmaline that I wear just to keep the third eye open, aware, and, and continuing to connect myself, all right, to my intuition. But then, lastly, selenite all right now, this is some of my favorite selenite this is selenite that i collected from glitter mountain in utah now with this selenite focus on selenite to uh for that crown chakra keeping myself connected to my higher self and also purifying my etheric field right all the energy that's that's coming off of of my my being this helps keep your etheric field pure clean and charged positively all right so selenite awesome now again this all right is a special selenite from glitter mountain in utah 
a lot of selenite you're gonna see is more so satin spar selenite all right but this this is this is some good stuff so all right um those are the four main crystals that i'm going to be using all right or have been using last couple days today and uh the next couple days just to uh keep myself in the best vibration and uh positive and focusing on what's what's truly important right so let me know in the comments what are your top crystals that you're using right now would love for you to share